I go to Beverly Hills very often because they got parking. And they got parking in, you know, you go over, um, over apartments and over retail. They got it in very, very ingenious parking. In Hollywood, they don't, they, I think there's about three uh, public parking places. And um, we've got a lot of development that has reduced parking. Yeah. And when we comment that they will park on the street, they said, no, no, no. We're increasing the fees for the street parking. So what is your opinion about parking? I'll try to answer all those issues. First, uh, I'm opposed to what the city did with the increase in parking meters. I think that's a bad decision to make in our current economic climate. I think it hurts local businesses. Um, regarding the developers being able to provide less parking than the code normally would allow, I definitely would oppose that. I know my opponent has pushed for reduced parking for developments near transit corridors. And I think in theory that might make some sense. In practice, it makes horrible sense. Because what happens is near those transit corridors, what developers often do is build luxury condos and luxury apartments. Those occupants are the least likely to use public transit. And I know this because every day I take public transit to and from work. And I don't, I don't see people um, who are high income, uh, for the most part, using public transit. It's very important that we, we act based on reality, not based on what we hope reality to be. And that seems to be what our city council is doing regarding parking and regarding trying to do the social engineering. Uh, to, to, to tell us what we have to do, and but not following those uh, those protocol themselves. Um, I would require that developers provide enough parking in order to um, deal with the situation. And also, I'd be happy to look into parking structures. I'd rather have a parking structure than another big high density development, which is making our parking situation worse. We also have a lot of high rise development here, and I always question uh, about water conservation. And they all tell me they're doing a green building. I, I think some of them are doing green buildings, but when I ask about water, they said, well, you know, and that's it. So what do you feel about water conservation and how would you apply it to, to the to the developments? Sure. Well, I think high density development by definition is not is not water conservation, it's adding uh, more units, more water use, and we essentially, uh, LA essentially is a desert that we've built on top of, so the worst thing we can do is make the problem worse um, with water conservation. Um, I'm very much opposed to the high density development um, for that reason, as well as of course the parking, the traffic issue, and the displacement of rent control and affordable housing that this high density development uh, creates. Um, so I would very much uh, oppose um, the high density development. Uh, it's very important that we're ecologically friendly. It's good for the economy. It's good. It's good for our children and our children's children's generation. Uh, so I would definitely uh, take a much different stance than my opponent, who's been very much in favor of high density development. Um, he's passed ordinances to give incentives to developers left and right, and I think that's the wrong direction for our city. Thank you. about the camp park and also about parks. We've, I think we've got one in, in Hollywood and we'd like a lot more. Yes. Uh, what do you feel about that? Whenever I hear uh, Eric Garcetti talk about how he's doubled the number of parks in Hollywood, I cringe because the parks he's talking about are too small for kids to really get the recreation they need. And when we're talking about um, issues of, of violence and gang violence, one of the best violence prevention tools you can think of is parks, because it gives kids an alternative uh, so they can do something uh, of quality with their time. If I'm elected uh, to city council, I'll work to try to establish parks of actual substance where seniors, where youth can have a place to, to have true recreation. Uh, for the cat park, I've been supportive of the idea. Uh, the one concern I would have is whether or not it's going to affect homes in the area. Uh, to my knowledge, that's, that's not going to be the case, but that would be something uh, which I'd have to take a second look at if that, if that did happen. But um, trying to get more parks in Hollywood is definitely high on my list. I live in Hollywood. There's no parks besides Griffith Park and walking distance from where I am. I see kids playing soccer on the street all the time. They need a place to play. It's, it's good for all of us. Um, it's, it's important for our community. Thank you. Minutes? Sure, I'd be happy to. Well, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if this is the right way to go about it, but I'm very disappointed that I'm up here alone. Uh, Mr. Garcetti said he'd be here at four, and he's he's not here. Back in January, January eighth, 
I asked him to participate in three debates throughout our district in order to spread it out so the public could actually hear what we had to say. I strongly believe in democracy. I believe that you don't have to agree with me. You can vote against me. But I think it's important that the public hears what we both think so they can make an informed decision. I'm disappointed he hasn't shown you all the respect to be here to share his thoughts. He has failed to engage in any public debate throughout this whole competition. I don't know if he thinks I'm Ill illegitimate as a candidate because I'm not rich, because I don't have a famous last name. Apparently that might be his stance, but I believe that people are going to speak and speak loudly on Tuesday, March 3rd, and tell him that we are not going to put up with that anymore. And if I can say, I, I put out, there's a mailer back there, and I, you know, but someone might say I'm cherry picking on some of the bad things Garcetti's done. It represents a pattern of bad decision after bad decision where he says one thing and does the other, and it's time for that to change. He's a city council president. He has the most influence over our city council of any single one of those 15 members. We need him out. We need someone with experience, and I think I'm that person. We need change, and I really hope that on Tuesday, March 3rd, you cast your ballot for me. One quick thing, I saw noticed there was a slate card that went out that mentioned uh, that it was endorsing me. It also endorsed um, voting yes on Measure B, Viragosa, and Jack Weiss. I just want to be clear, I'm not voting for Jack Weiss, I'm not voting for Viragosa, and I'm definitely voting no on Measure B. And I encourage you all to do the same.